In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from paper two of the 2024 Leave and Cert Ordinary Level exam. If you are looking for a different question from this paper, you should find a link to a playlist in the description below. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully so it's similar to what you're used to your teacher doing in the classroom. But remember, this isn't a classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that. Use the pause button, rewind, fast forward, watch it in high speed or slow speed, whatever helps you out. And um, if you do find this video or any of my videos useful, I would appreciate like, subscribe, all that stuff. What really helps out the channel the most is though, sharing it with someone that might find it useful. Question one starts off with what might be the easiest question I've seen in the Leave Insert. They give you these uh, nine numbers, and uh, there's only two missing, X and Y, and they ask you to write them down in order. They start off with X already written down. Uh, so all you need to do is go through all of these numbers, which is the smallest, and then maybe mark it off. So 37, uh, 40, just speed this up, I'll go from my notes. 42, 54, 74, 76, 82, 91, and Y. That's it, you're getting marks for writing out numbers in order. Just be careful, go through it slowly. It is easy, but that doesn't mean you can't make mistakes. I might, might have made a mistake there. Um, question, part two of this question asks you to find the median. So now we're a bit into a bit of maths here. So what's the median number? The median is an average, and it's the, it's the one where it's just the middle. So if we write down numbers in order, like they are here, smallest to largest, the median is simply the one in the middle. So which is the middle number? Uh, the way I like to do this, I just cover the last one and the first one. Second last and so on, and I, I come in like that. What's left in the middle? If there's two numbers in the middle, uh, there's only one number here, 74. Uh, if there's two numbers in the middle, uh, you need to find the mean of them. Add them together and divide by two. In this case, there's not. The answer is simply, 74. That's uh, for part two. For part three of this question, and this is where it gets a little more difficult, um, it, it's sort of like a, a little thought puzzle. They tell you all of these students got different scores, like no numbers the same. Really, all that's telling you is X is not 37, and Y is not 91. It has to be 92, 93, 94, something bigger than 91. And they, they give you the puzzle, uh, work out the maximum number of points that X could have got um, and the corresponding number for Y. Oh, sorry, they also tell you the range is 61. Range is equal to 61. Range is the difference between the biggest number and the smallest number. So whatever X is, uh, Y has to be 61 away from it. Okay, so this is just a puzzle. What's the biggest number that works for X? Well, first you can think of any number that works for X as zero works, one, two, three. Any number smaller than 37. So they're looking for the biggest one. Well, it seems obvious that it's, it could be 36. We just need to test if this range works out for that. So uh, is X 36? Well, what would be 61 bigger than 36? Uh, that would be 97. Could Y be 97? Yeah, it could, and that's it, we're finished. Uh, biggest number that X could be is 36. They, they didn't ask, but I thought I'd add in an extra question. Uh, what's the smallest number 36 could be? You might think it's zero, it could be zero, but 61 bigger than zero would land them here somewhere, and Y is not, Y cannot be 61. So what's the smallest number X could be? It's probably the smallest number Y could be, and the smallest number, so this, uh, here we go, this is the max. This is the answer for the question. The smallest number Y could be is 92, and 61 less than 92 is 31. So that, that's actually the minimum there. They didn't ask this. I just thought it would have been a more interesting question. Uh, that, that, was a, that was a tricky mind question. I can't really teach you how to do this. It'll be different every year. Um, it's just a puzzle. Hopefully you got it. For part B, uh, they tell us a group of students did a maths test and they got these marks here, 15, 16, seven, uh, sorry, 19. Uh, some student got marks we don't know, uh, some number we don't know, we call it T here, and someone got 26. Now what they did tell us is the mean of all these numbers. They told us the mean 
was 19.6. So what is T? One, one thing to do is just guess at some numbers. That's a, a terrible way to do it. But um, how do we find the mean? How do we find the mean of five numbers? We simply add them together. Uh, 15 plus 16 plus 19 plus T plus 26. And we divide them by how many numbers there are. So there's five numbers there divided by five. But in this case, we know what that answer is. We know it's 19.6. So this is just a maths question. If we look here, there's only one thing you don't know, T. So we should be able to solve this. We can clean up, all, there's lots of just adding here, 15 plus 16. We could write 31 uh, plus another 19, that'd be 50 and so on. So let's just add all these numbers together. Uh, I believe it's 76. Yeah, adds all of them up to get 76 plus T divided by five. And that still equals 19.6. Now, uh, again, we just solve for t. Let's move everything around so we're left with t equals at the end. So let's get rid of this 5. Multiply both sides by 5. On the left side, we just get 76 plus t. And on the right side, we get 19.6 multiplied by 5. Put that into a calculator and you get uh, a 98. Uh, is that right? Multiply that by five. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks good to me. Uh, next thing to get t on its own, let's get rid of this 76. Let's take 76 from both sides. t is equal 98 minus 76. 98 minus 76 is 22. And that's the answer for part B. And that's actually the answer to the last question in the, uh, question one. So if you have any follow-up questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, till next time, have a good day.